Hi everybody, this is Jerry Gerritsen, Tabia Law. Today we're going to be talking about the best way to get your fiancé here. Do you do the K-1 visa or just do consular processing? K-1 visa, what is that? We call it the fiancé visa, which means that you have a fiancé that's not in this country, she's abroad. You are either a USC, actually you have to be a US citizen, okay? So as a U.S. citizen, you petition the foreign person, have them come over here. You get married here in the first 90 days, and then you uh, file for your green card. And it's as fairly simple as that. What's the other way to doing it? Consular processing, which means that you go to their area, country, whatever, and you marry them there. Once you're married, you come back home. They stay there, they consular process, which means they do all the paperwork there, and then they um, go to the local American embassy or consulate, do their interview, they pass, and they come out to the United States with a green card. Which one's better? Generally, and there's differences because it depends what consulate you're dealing with. I mean, we have American consulates all over the world. It depends um, what your situation is, is as far as um, how soon you want that to be with the person. Overall, the consular processing is to get your green card is faster because you start the process right when you get married. With the K-1 visa, you don't start the process until the person gets here, you marry them after nine days, then you start the process. So it's a longer process for the K-1 for your green card. However, you generally get the person, the foreign national here in this country faster because the K-1 visa allows them to come travel here and, and marry you. And generally, that could be six, seven, eight months, maybe a lot longer, whereas the consular processing is about a full year. The difference, of course, is when you're done with the consular processing, they have the green card. When you get them over here for the K-1, they're just starting the process. But the difference, again, is it depends what you want. Do you want them here sooner? Because once they get here, your fiance, they stay here and you do all the processing, you do all the paperwork here. Or do you just want their green card as soon as possible? And you'll wait a couple extra months in order to see them, but at least they'll have their green card. Uh, another thing is where do you want to have the wedding? So if you are bent on having that wedding in the United States, then you're looking at the K-1 visa, right? If you don't care, if it's okay to have it uh, in the, the foreign nationals home country, then you fly out there to wherever it is, marry them there, and then you consular process. So the answer to the question of what is better is it depends. And that's a good lawyer answer, I guess. All right, let me read the Bible here. We're in Genesis 2. 10 the bible says and a river went out of eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and became into our foreheads thank you so much we'll see you guys next time